What are the causes? As stated before, streptococcal bacteria are the cause of strep throat. A specific species of strep bacteria known as Group A beta-hemolytic strep is the culprit of the majority of strep throat infections. Some people are known as carriers, meaning they have a reservoir of this form of bacteria in the back of their throat. Carriers are not necessarily more likely to get sick from their reservoir, but can transmit strep bacteria to others when sick. Strep throat is contagious. It is transmitted through hand contact or nasal secretions. Contagiousness begins the day the sore throat first occurs and can be transmitted to others until up to one week after the acute phase of the illness unless antibiotics are prescribed. Most people are no longer contagious one to three days after taking their first antibiotic dose. What are the risk factors for strep throat? There are a few risk factors that increase a person's likelihood of catching strep throat. Those that are most obvious include working in or attending a child's daycare center or school, chronic and recurrent sore throat, taking short incomplete courses of antibiotics for sore throat. No underlying illness necessarily predisposes to high likelihood of getting strep throat. How is it diagnosed? Strep throat is not always easy to diagnose. As stated before, many viruses present with similar symptoms. Specific criteria have been developed and scientifically studied to assist medical providers in diagnosing strep throat. They are as follows. Temperature of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, absence of cough, tender neck lymph nodes, glands, swollen tonsils with or without whitish film or exudate, age less than 15 years old. The presence of four or more of the before mentioned guarantees the diagnosis of strep throat. The presence of one or less of the before mentioned virtually guarantees the absence of strep throat. When two or three of the above mentions are present, testing for strep throat should occur prior to making a treatment decision. Testing for strep throat is accomplished in one of two ways. One, rapid strep test, Two, throat culture. One rapid strep test, also known as rapid antigen detection test, identifies a specific protein of the strep bacteria. This test takes only a few minutes, is easy to perform, swabbing the back of the throat and tonsils, if present, and is extremely accurate. Two, throat culture is the best test for confirming the presence of the strep bacteria. This test takes at least 24 hours to detect, so it's a little less convenient. However, Waiting 24 hours before initiating antibiotic treatment is not likely to put anyone at risk for complications related to a strep throat infection. Additional physical exam findings can help in diagnosing strep throat. These findings are strawberry looking tongue, fine red rash on arms, legs, groin, neck and or the trunk of body, 